Hey everybody, Coach Bess here with the Fresh Start community. Um, just going to bring a super quick comparison and kind of a, a behind the scenes look for you um, on whether or not when you go to use a blog or website for your business, because you guys know, you'll hear me say this over and over, I do believe that to have an online presence or to build any online aspect of a business, so even a brick and mortar business or in-person business or even if you're a direct salesperson, I do believe that a website is vital. So you need to blog and you need to have a website to make that a success. And so that's not the question to me personally. Um, what has happened over the years with me personally is, okay, well, I came into this using WordPress knowing, because at the time, I knew that it was the best um, option available. Uh, and now I am beginning, I began last year to use Squarespace, and now I'm migrating just about every website I run to Squarespace. And I wanna to explain to you why I'm doing that, and I want to actually be fair to you because everybody's different, and maybe your needs are different than mine, maybe your challenges are different than mine, but we're all kind of, you know, coming from a different place. And so I wanna be fair and show why I believe one versus the other is better for me, okay? And for what I'm doing in my businesses, you're gonna to have to make that decision for yourself. Um, if you already have a website, and I'm going to explain actually as I get into this tutorial why WordPress has become a no-no for me, why it has become what I don't want to do anymore. Uh, but if that's been your story and you already have a website and you're like, okay, best this I want to hear because I am annoyed or, or overwhelmed or stuck or whatever you're feeling with your current website, then this is also a tutorial for you. Okay, so let's get started. Um, I'm going to jump in and show you um, the differences between Squarespace and WordPress and why I'm moving to Squarespace. Okay, I've been on WordPress now, by the way, for seven years um, with originally the Fresh Start for Health website, which at that time was called the Intentional Lifestyle, which is still on WordPress, by the way. Let me actually... Um, show you <laughs> show you my antique website here see this is a wordpress site and my old site is still there that's a long story a lot of this content is slowly but surely being polished up and moved over to this site so the one i first showed you sorry i just realized that you cannot see uh there you go you couldn't see the um ah uh, the URL. So this is the intentionallifestyle.com, my original blog, my original website from seven years ago. And I want you to notice something. See how up here in the URL it says not secure and it says www.theintentionallifestyle. I want to show you that what's happening now is I just clicked over to our new WordPress, which is the Fresh Start Coaching Community. I'm about to show you some behind the scenes here. Uh, notice that it says secure, HTTPS colon slash slash. What I want you guys to know is if you are going to stay on WordPress, that is something that you need to have done. You either need to get a tutorial and do it yourself. You need to secure your site by adding the S to the HTTP. On the other hand, and I actually know a guy, so if you need help, he's super, super affordable. Um, and he helped me do mine so that I just didn't have to deal with the headache, which is part of the reason that I'm moving from WordPress. I noticed how much money I've been pouring into this site, <laughs> this free site, as everybody calls them, low cost or free, right? That's the big brag for WordPress. Guys, I'm sorry, but that is not the case. And I'm going to show you why in a minute. Here on um, Fresh Start for Health, now I'm behind the scenes here, so it's actually under my designer's original um it's under her original um url but honestly my site is at freshstartforhealth.org and this is an automatic thing with squarespace because see squarespace is like 
a company that hosts your site, if that makes sense. They're similar in that way, not in, not in every way, but in that way they're similar to Wix and uh, what's the other one that's like Wix? The other one like Wix. Um, so that's how they're different. Come, come to this website if you really want to know the differences. I love this article. They actually have written several articles that help explain the differences between Squarespace and WordPress, but this is WebsiteBuilderExpert.com. I would come here if I were you and just read through this and look at these specific sections. See here how they talk about the flexibility, the differences between the two, ease of use, user support, ongoing maintenance, the price obviously, and then their conclusion. Guys, come in here and read this. This should be your very first step. If you already have a site and you're frustrated or feeling stuck, or if you're new and you are considering who to go with for your site. I will tell you that in my experience online, building a business online, I would not recommend anything outside of one of these two. I really do feel strongly about that. And that's too long of a story for this particular tutorial. But I, I, will, I would tell you that definitely, if you can, make a choice between WordPress and Squarespace, okay? All right, so here's my original blog, remember, on, the, on WordPress. I've been on WordPress for seven years. I've been on Squarespace now for my Fresh Start for Health site for um, about a year, a little over a year. And guys, there's no going back for me. And, and there's several reasons for that. I, I, want, I need to probably do a blog post actually to go with this tutorial to explain. But just to summarize it in, in, in short, um, number one, ease of use. My number one reason for going to Squarespace and wanting to stay there, and now I'm going to be moving this WordPress site to Squarespace, is for ease of use. And it's because... These, Squarespace makes it so easy to design. You don't have to be a designer and you, you can get your site looking like you are a designer because it's made to utilize beautiful pictures, which ask me if you need help with that one because there's so many places you can get free, with very low cost, high quality pictures that you legally can use on your blog and website, okay, online. So this particular format just makes it look so good and it is so easy to set up. My opt-in bar up here is included in the site. Ease of use, guys. So here's the landing page at ConvertKit, which is who I use for my email. That's another whole tutorial. If you're trying to decide who to use as your email vendor, we go see my tutorial on that or ask me about that in our support group. Um, but the ease of use is just amazing with this. So see, it comes right to the um, opt-in page for the seven-day guide. Um, here's my get started page. Let me show you that. This was so easy to create, and it is so easy to continue to edit. See how it pops up these little bars here, and it says, do you want to edit? Do you want to work on the banner? Are you concerned with settings? Or do you want to manage the sections? I mean, it's just amazingly easy. These click-through buttons are easy to set up. So you go to pages, that's how you work in your blog, or even just in any pages on your Squarespace. And you can see here, over here on the left-hand side of my screen, how amazingly easy this is. So when I'm putting in new recipes, when I'm editing old ones, let's say I want to pop in and just edit something out, my shop, by the way, which is built in with Squarespace. Squarespace was made to be um, e-commerce ready. And, and I'm going to go over to WordPress in a minute and explain some things, but that's not the case with WordPress. So my shop is super easy. I, it probably, guys, it probably took me under an hour, not even, not even 45 minutes to add these items to my store. And it would take me no time to continue to add more. Um, items to my shop and see I've got stuff on sale right now because it's super easy to put things on sale um, let's go to my blog post so I can show you to put in a blog post this is the listing I love the way this theme Squarespace also has multiple themes you can choose from I'm using the Pacific theme right now on this site and I just love the way it lays out the blog posts and then how it also lays them out on the gallery page because that's that's important I think when you're trying to keep people on your site 
you know, the biggest goal for our websites is to draw in new people, keep them there, be answering and, and answering their questions and bringing solutions to the problems, the reasons that they visited in the first place, keep them coming back, right? Um, get them engaging with us, uh, opting in to whatever we're giving them as an opt-in, buying from our store, uh, coming into relationship with us in, um, you know, further ways. Maybe that's through coaching or whatever it is that you are trying to market. So those are the goals of the site, right? I believe that Squarespace makes that easier than any other platform out there. Not just for the end user, the person who's reading my site, but for me, as I'm coming in to put things in the site. So like when I'm putting together a blog post, let me actually um, show you super, super quick because I know uh, I don't want to spend all my time on this. I'm going to go to blog roll. Um, I am going to go to drafts. I have quite a few that I need to finish up. This is one I'm working on, uh, obviously. <laughs> working on it for a year. <laughs> um, so I'm in here, I'm, I, this is a draft, and I just come in here when I think of more notes for it. And look at how simple this is. I pressed edit, it's on text. I'm just gonna type nothing here. Look at how the layout is so automatic. See, and then let's see, okay, let's see. Um, I'm just gonna type glory to God. Okay, just to give you guys an example here. To bold, super easy. Maybe I want to put it in one of my headings, super easy. There's none of this, um, what frustrates me about WordPress, which I'm going to actually show you, um, sorry about that. When we uh, skip over there in a second, I'm going to show you what frustrates me about WordPress. But there's none of that frustrating formatting that needs to be done like we experience with WordPress. The picture here, to put the picture in. You go to, um, what do I go to for edit? And then you go to um, thumbnail image, look. And I'm actually not even in the, the, there's two different ways to edit a post, I'm in only one of the ways. You change your URL, you can put um, your source URL. You've got your excerpt going here for the, for SEO reasons. Um, I can change this by removing and editing it. I can edit it in post, y'all. Look at the photo editor that you can pull up to actually edit your photos in post. I mean, that is amazing. And then let me actually scroll down here or move this. Um, well, I can't make it work. I'm trying to scroll down so that you could see the save button, but I couldn't make that work for you. The point is, it is point and click, literally, with Squarespace. And you and I know that is not the case. If you have worked at all with WordPress, that is not the case with WordPress. It is never, sorry about that, point and click. It's never that easy. There's a lot of formatting tweaks and headaches that you have to go through. And this one is just super, super easy for us, the creator. And then it's super easy to navigate for the reader, which I think is so vital. SEO is still totally robust with this platform because that's very important to me. The only thing we can really depend on in building an online business is our SEO. We cannot depend on social media networks to do it for us. We can't. Those are only other avenues. Those cannot be our bread and butter, right? SEO is still where it's at, guys. It's probably always going to be where it's at. And so this platform allows for robust SEO. Um, sales pages, oh my goodness, putting up a sales page in this is a piece of cake. Um, private pages, check this out. This is our Fresh Start Club monthly member private page that they first come to after they purchase our monthly membership and they get their resources. Do you guys know how long it took me to set up this resource page? When they click on this screenshot, they get this printable access to it. When they click on this one, they get that. I mean, it is amazing. And um, I just realized, does this have everything in it? <laughs> it looks so sparse. Oh, it's because it's the monthly member. Let me show you the yearly member. The yearly member, 
see they get quite a bit more because they pay up front for an entire year of our club. So see what they get when they first come in? All these goodies. But this took me, guys, this took me no time. And this is a protected page accessible only by a password. Of course, everyone has the same password. That's It's not a membership site. Squarespace is not robust enough to be an internal membership site, but you can password protect pages. So it works perfectly for us. And it would work perfectly for you if that's something you want to offer. Um, let me see here. Thank you, pages. Super simple. Uh, I'm trying to find a sales page for you. Let's find the Fresh Start Club sales page. I was just altering this page today, and it took me seconds, seconds to make the tweaks I wanted to make. I wanted to change this top part. So this is my sales page, guys. So super easy to put these pages together. You do not spend time... Um, tweaking and centering and making sure that things fit. Now I can't do a full blown tutorial on how to set up a page in fresh uh and sorry not fresh sure in Squarespace, but I will do that if you need that. Listen, Squarespace themselves have everything you could possibly want to know how to do with them in their tutorials when you go to uh let me actually find it with you here on this tutorial. You go to I always just Google tutorials. And then um, I don't remember whether they call it a knowledge base or what. So I'm going to go there with you. Uh, I think it's this one. But go straight to Squarespace Help. Don't go to external tutorials if possible, unless you absolutely need to. Because look, they have everything you could possibly need. And they show you how to do it. You can either do it on video or, and look, see how they give you the places in the video of where you, the, the particular information you don't have to watch minutes after minutes and, and be really just waiting for the part you need. They also have all kinds of um, written tutorials. So they have everything you could possibly need to know about doing this site here. And what they don't have, go to YouTube and you will find answers or come to me and I will help you. But honestly, I haven't needed help with Squarespace. They, everything is so included that... Um, I haven't had to hire outside help to do anything on this site, which amazes me. Yes, I hired the gal who migrated my site from my WordPress to here, but I'm not even going to do that with my new, my new migration with the coaching site. I'm going to do it myself because I've gotten so comfortable with Squarespace over the last year. But I just want to show you something. Before we move over to WordPress, I want to show you my analytics, my traffic. Not great, okay? I don't, I've never had super great traffic. I'm working on that. That's something I'm really working on um, in, the over, in the next upcoming years. But I will tell you, 443 unique visitors, guys. Those are new visitors and um, most of the visits, actually. And the page views are double that, which is always, or almost double, which is always really, really good. That means that people are sticking around and reading more than one page. When I go to my popular content, the stuff that is the most popular is what converts to my list, which is vital. So this website is functioning exactly for what I need it for, to engage people, to get them on my list, and to get them hunting around on the site. See here that they go... Yes, they went to the free magazine, but that's perfect because that's an opt-in. They're on the home page. They're going to the Fresh Start Club page. They're going to our recipes. There was a special deal that Trish ran. <laughs> they were going to that. And see, they're coming, they're going around the blog and looking at recipes. And I haven't even been publishing the way that I intend to publish. So this will triple, quadruple, quintuple uh, within the next couple of months because of how often now I'm going to be publishing recipes and blog posts and because of how things are growing on our um, offer side okay but this is pretty good traffic for not a site that has not ranked right I mean it's not great traffic guys don't get me wrong but for a site that's not ranked and for how few blog posts we put up this past year I want to say it was like 20 or 30 it was ridiculous it was very sad it has a lot to do with <laughs> <laughs> my own health journey right now and just life. And so this is great considering that, okay? And my conversion is amazing. My sales conversion is amazing. So this site is functioning. So this is what helped me make my decision. When I came over here and I 
dreaded working in my word. So this is my WordPress site, my coaching community WordPress site, right? I have dreaded every time I've had to work in this site this year because I have had to hire so much of it out because it's fooling with Divi, my theme, which has proven to be a, quite the pain in the butt as far as formatting and some other things. I've had to hire out my sales page construction, my WooCommerce, this is the deception with WordPress, and it's not, it's not a deception. I shouldn't use that word. The misunderstanding with WordPress, a lot of bloggers, a lot of people in the blogging circles will tell you WordPress is low cost to free. You know, it costs so little to run a WordPress site. Okay, yes, if you are technically inclined. Yes, if you have tons of time. Yes, if you don't mind digging into things like this. But you guys know I've been working on a membership site. I was trying to do that internally. That has turned into a nightmare, but now God is so good. I found Thinkific. Thank you, Trish. <laughs> I'm moving my courses over there, and I am completely moving them out of this site. I was trying to have my store here with WooCommerce, which is a free plugin. Um, sorry, I don't know why it's showing me that. I wanted to show you actually the pages. Um, and it's been a flop. The store experience has been a huge flop. Jessica saved my butt, Trisha's daughter. She's amazing. She made it even look good, see? But it's a, it's a total flop because I am not capable of, I don't have the time or the techie knowledge to utilize WooCommerce the way I need to versus Squarespace store for the Fresh Start stuff. That has been a piece of cake. It's been a no-brainer. Yes, I pay an additional fee. Guys, it's been like, I pay like a quarter each time I sell an ebook. I pay like 59 cents when I sell um, anything through my store. So it's like this tiny little fee on top of the PayPal fee, but it is a write-off on my taxes. And I don't care because there's been no grief with my Squarespace store. See? No grief at all. And if you want to sell something on Squarespace, I'm back to Squarespace now, just to show you this. If you do want to sell something without paying Squarespace a fee, you just don't list it in the shop. So anything that's listed in the shop here is going to charge an additional fee from Squarespace because they're being my payment processor. So it's very understandable. But my Fresh Start Club, I put the pay buttons right on the page. See, it's not in my store. Because I'm not going to sell any more spots from the store than I'm going to sell here, right? From advertising and talking about it and enrolling. So I do that from here and I don't pay any additional fees. So there is a way around it, but I don't mind on the, the storefront side. But this has just been nuts. It's been nuts. Free doesn't always mean free. When I did my taxes was when I had my big uh, wake-up call to the fact that I am pouring money into this website for the help I need to run it the way it should be ran versus now I'm gonna it's gonna be a big project but I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna get it over with and I'm gonna stop dreading um, posting blog posts working on this site I had to hire someone for this page the free membership page Jessica had to do that for me I had to pay her um, which I love Jessica and I want to pay her but guys we don't want to be paying 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 for this help and um, over here, what, where else did I? Um, the Success Circle page, the Academy page, all of those pages. I paid Jessica to put them together for me because this thing is such a pain in the butt. And I don't care what theme you choose. And this is a purchased theme, okay? I did have to repurchase it. So by the time I added up on my taxes, the theme, um, the plugins, social warfare, which is like so that my blog posts look great and people can share them on their social networks. I paid for that plugin. Um, I paid for classes to know how to even do some of the stuff back here. I paid Jeremy to help me with tech stuff I ran into. I paid Jessica to design my pages. I'm paying and paying and paying. Have I made money from my website on those things I was paying for? Absolutely not. So. It, it was kind of a wake-up call when I started started actually seeing the full amount all together over the year. And I don't even want to talk about the years before because you guys know some of that story, but got, got sucked into really paying out the wazoo for this website team. Guys, don't do it. 
It is not necessary. It is not necessary to hire companies for two grand and three grand to set it up to begin with. It is not necessary to get caught up in a theme or platform that sucks your time, your energy, and your money. WordPress is an amazing platform. Do not get me wrong. I have appreciated the seven years of awesome business I've been able to do from my WordPress platform. But I will tell you right now, I am not shedding tears of sadness to move it all over to Squarespace. Now, people have an issue with the fact that, let's go to the pricing question, that Squarespace costs um, between, it's, a, it's around 150 to 216, so 144 to 216 a year, depending on which plan you choose. I obviously get the bigger one because I'm doing more. So if you pay monthly, it's this. If you pay annually, it's that. It really is worth it to pay annually. I always pay annually because you do save so much. So that looks like quite a bit of chunk of money, right? Some For some people. For me, it's like, eh, big deal. 216 or whatever it was, I saved for it. I paid it, happily paid it for the Fresh Start site. Because you know what? I'm not going to pay 50 for this plugin, 79 for that theme, um, 200 and something for the commerce section. I'm not going to pay all of that because Squarespace has it inside of its own platform, guys. So this is the this is why this cost is here. This is why it's worth it to pay another quarter or 50 cents or whatever on the sale you make from the store. They are amazing. It is worth it to me to pay their yearly fee. And you can see here the breakdown, the side-by-side -side breakdown of what you need and which one you should choose and how much it'll cost you. Um, I also do pay for my, obviously, domain name, but you pay for that anyway, no matter who you go with. And I pay for, um, uh, what is it? Um, oh, gosh. Uh, email, Gmail Suite, G Suite, or whatever it's called. So that's 50 a year. Guys, it's worth every penny. I'm not... I don't have Jeremy over there working on my Squarespace. Jessica's not over there working on my Squarespace. Everything you guys have been seeing, enjoying, and sharing from this website, I did it. Is Bess a designer? No, I'm not. Yes, I've learned some designing skills over the years, and I've gotten pretty amateur good, you know, good for an amateur, but I'm not a designer. I have figured out the hacks, and Squarespace is my, my most favorite um, non-secret secret hack, okay, that I am sharing with you. Look at the way that it does the testimonials. Look at the way that it allows us to put screenshots and pictures and testimonials and pictures of me and my co-experts as we are doing this Fresh Start Club. And It's just amazing. It's just, guys, I used to spend, I used to have to block out, if I was going to put up a sales page on my WordPress site, let's say that I was opening a 14-day challenge and I wanted to put up a sales page. I used to have to block out two to three days for that whole process because that's how long it would take me of work time to figure it out, fit everything in there, say it right, put it right, you know, make everything look right, put the payment stuff in there. Guys, this is like this this sales page, this very in-depth, I think. I think it's a pretty thorough sales page here. I know I'm scrolling fast. This is for the Fresh Start Club. Pretty thorough. It's a few scrolls, so it's a few pages, right? Guys, it took me under two hours. I'm not kidding. And that's not because I've been doing this this long. That's because of Squarespace. So I just want to encourage you, if you have been stuck, frustrated, discouraged, broke because of your website, <laughs> are you hiring everything out? Are you buying yet another plugin? Are you trying to figure out yet another code hack? Are you in another support group or mastermind just so that you can get the help you need on your WordPress site? Stop. Don't do it anymore. It's not necessary. Squarespace is here to stay. They're an amazing format. Listen, any fears you might have about, yeah, but WordPress is mine, because you know how people teach that. They go, WordPress, when you have a WordPress site, you own it. It's the same thing on Squarespace, y'all. All of that content is yours. Oh, that's another thing I don't have to do. I don't have to back the darn thing up all the time and worry about that. I was going to be paying my guy. $39 per, I don't remember, a month or quarter or something. Again, more fees. I just finished paying them $89 for the year, by the way. I mean, it's just money after money after money, guys. Just so much money I've paid out for my WordPress. And I was going to pay him to do the backups. 
because I don't have time to do them and they're necessary on the WordPress site. Guys, I'm telling you, start adding it up. If you've been on WordPress and you're like, mm, I don't know, Bess, come to this article on Web Website Builder Expert. Look at other articles. This isn't the only good one out there. I just like it because it's so thorough. It's so easy to understand and it's fair. They're not saying one is better than the other. They're saying this one does this and this one does that. This one does this, this one does that. But listen, Bess is opinion only. If you've been stuck and you haven't been blogging because you are absolutely disgusted or frustrated or fed up with the tech side of things, then Squarespace might be the answer. You do need to blog. If you want to build an online presence, if you want to build a genuine following and engagement and have a home base where you put your freebies and your quality content and your unique view and your awesome voice, listen, go to Squarespace and give it a shot. You can get a two-week free trial. That doesn't hurt anything, right? Don't pay anything then. Try it for two weeks. But do it at a time when you know that you can get into the tutorials and learn a little bit of it. I want to tell you something about that, too. The learning curve on WordPress, I've been doing WordPress for seven years. I'm still learning. Seven years! And I'm still not an expert. Squarespace, I've been on it for one year. I feel like I could design your site tomorrow. I, I, I do. I'm about to do my own coaching site. I'm not even going to hire a designer. I'm not hiring a migrator or anything. I'm doing it myself. Because that's how easy it is. It's not that I'm good. It's not that I know what I'm doing. It's that Squarespace is really that easy. Now, there's no affiliate program with Squarespace, which really breaks my heart because I do teach and love and brag on them all the time. <laughs> so I'm not getting a dime for this. I'm just coming to you with a little bit of passion, and which has been birthed out of frustration and huge cost. If I have the guts... I will share privately with my Fresh Success Coach Circle later on because I just did my taxes and I just added up and itemized all my different deductions. I'm, I'm going to let you guys know how much in the hole I went in the last couple of years just because of WordPress because it needs this plugin and that addition and I need to hire the guy for this and I need to hire Jessica for that and now I need to set up the store. And now, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show my private group that. If you're not in the Fresh Success Coach Circle, this tutorial is, is very typical of what they get over there. So if you have not yet joined us over there, it is just an ongoing support group. It is not a mastermind. It is not a bunch of homework and stress and oh my gosh, another group. This is very unique. The Fresh Success Coach Circle was uh, just created to be just this ongoing safe space where we support each other and where the other experts and I support you as you build your online coaching business. We believe in coaches. We believe in you. You have a mission. You have a vision. You have something very important to bring and to do for your community. And if you are caught up in the headaches and heartaches and, and bank account aches of, um, of the stress side of this stuff, then you're not going to get to your mission. So it is just absolutely vital that you don't waste any more time on the stress or any more money on things you don't have to be spending money on when there's better or other options, okay? But anyway, yeah, join us over there. Let me actually show you, because um, even once I migrate the site, the link will still work. Go to freshstartcoachingcommunity.com if you are watching this publicly on YouTube or from our Health Coaches on a Mission free group. And see this middle button here? Uh, click on that. Once we get on Squarespace, it might not look exactly like this, but it is called the Fresh Success Coach Circle. Join us over there. It's under 50 bucks a month to be supported, to get cheat um, ideas like this, to get hacks, and to really just kind of learn from my mistakes and my misspending and my, <laughs> my heartache so that you don't have to spin your wheels and um, end up doing, you know, going down the same path and then regretting it. I hope this has been helpful for those of you who are not sure what to do with your website dilemma. We need to get blogging. We need to get sharing. And I'm really hoping that this particular tutorial helps you do that um, better, whether you choose WordPress or Squarespace. And you might be a techie queen, and it might not be a big deal to you. All right, y'all. This has been Coach Bess, freshstartcoachingcommunity.com. Sure do love you. This is why I do what I do. It's for you. Come join me over in the community. Talk to you soon.